Hey everybody, today is March 15th. I'm here at the Cane Gulch uh, Ranger Station in uh, the Cedar Mesa Bears Ears National Monument area. Um, this is going to be a three day, two night backpack and should pretty, be pretty awesome down there with lots of uh, Indian ruins and petroglyphs and pictographs. See you down in the canyon. Made it here to uh, the junction of Cane Gulch and Grand Gulch. This is Junction Ruin up there in that, underneath that overhang. It's a popular spot, several other people down here at the center section. And I'm gonna keep heading south. I believe these are called turkey pen ruins. It's hole in the ground, kind of in the on the left side of the screen. That would be a kiva. All right, I've made it here to uh, Toady Canyon. And um, yeah, treated some water. It was uh, pretty good water, uh, very clear spring. And I've set up camp and I think I'm gonna go explore up Canyon, uh, hopefully find some ruins. So 
So I'm here in uh, Toji Canyon looking at uh, some pretty cool Anasazi Indian ruins. I believe this site is called 25 Structures. I'm not sure if there's 25 structures in there or not, but uh, I'll try to zoom in here for you. All right, here's a little map time. Hopefully I'll try not to make this too shaky. It's kind of hard to hold the camera with my left hand and this, but I started up here at the uh, Kane Gulch Ranger Station. Came down here, Kane Gulch. Hit up with the main part of Grand Gulch here. Come down this way. I'm camped here near the uh, entrance of uh, Toady Canyon with Grand Gulch. It's about a seven mile backpack today. And I came up here to check out some ruins. For the rest of the trip, tomorrow I'm going to head down, keep on heading down the gulch, seeing lots of uh, ruins along the way. And so I'll get here to uh, Sheik's Canyon. Set up camp tomorrow night there. And then come out uh, Bullet Canyon, where I am parked. See if we can zoom out on this thing. So, yeah. Hardest part about today, I forgot to mention, was uh, I parked my truck at uh, Bullet Canyon and then had to ride a... Uh, Ride my bike about nine miles up to Cane Gulch. I'm not a very strong biker. I don't bike very much, and uh, pretty sure my wheels are kind of flat, so it was hard. But uh, but yeah, looking forward to the rest of this trip. All right, I'm going to show you all what I'm having for dinner tonight. So I'm having a Mountain House uh, freeze-dried meal. This is chicken and dumplings. Basically, I boiled 11 ounces of water and poured it in this uh, bag and uh, stirred it up. Let's see what we got here. Oh, yeah. All right. Finished dinner. Put on some warm clothes. And... Uh, I think I'm going to get in the tent and stretch and uh, hit the sack early. See you in the morning. Hey, good morning. It's day two. Uh, it was a cold night last night. Um, got a lot of frost on the tent, so I'm drying that out. Um, but I had a good breakfast. Tortilla with Nutella. Some coffee, some dried fruit. Um, so today's plan is to head down canyon about seven or eight miles to Sheik's Canyon. Um, we're all set up camp there. Should, uh, should be a lot of ruins and um, rock art along the way, so hopefully I can spot that stuff. It's Sometimes it's hard to see, um, but I'll see you down canyon. I've just reached a uh, small set of ruins. Reach some more ruins. It's just crazy. People used to live in these. You'd have to just curl up in a ball in there. You couldn't even 
layout. I guess that's what kept them warm. And more ruins. I've been walking for like only 15 minutes and I've seen like five different sites already. Pretty magical place. I got a view here of split level ruin. Pretty cool. Maybe hard for y'all to see with all the shadows. Right next to this one set of ruins. Got this really cool pictograph. Maybe hard for y'all to see it, but there's basically a bunch of uh, handprints and images of people. Probably like a hundred handprints on here. Super cool. More pictographs here. Not sure if y'all can see it. Right in the middle of the screen, it's like a snake. Just continue all down this wall. More snakes and handprints and images of people. Made it here to another set of multi-story ruins. Very cool. Got a little closer look here of these ruins. some sort of lizard or salamander or some sort of water creature down there just right in the middle of the screen it's a big gap probably about five inches long you got a good puddle of water here all right, I've made it here to the uh, the confluence of uh, Bullet Canyon and Grand Gulch. Uh, definitely got lost today. Went way too far. Uh, missed missed this turn off and uh, went down Canyon uh, a few miles before uh, realizing what I'd done. Backtracked and uh, finally made it back here. But uh, yeah, I think I did like I probably backpacked like 16 miles today. Um, so I'm exhausted. I'm going to 
I'm going to eat some dinner tonight and just uh, turn in early. So um, I'll catch you guys in the morning. Good morning. It's uh, day number three, Tuesday, my last day. So I've got a hike about seven and a half miles uh, of Bullet Canyon. My goal for the day is not to get lost like yesterday. Um, but yeah, looking forward to it. There should be some ruins uh, along the way. See you up Canyon. Got a view here, some cool ruins. Climbed up into this little alcove and I believe this is jailhouse ruin. Show you all what it looks like inside this little building. I won't go inside because that's against the rules. Sticking my arm in here, very, very cool. This is kind of a big room. It's probably 15 feet by 10 feet. I'm down in perfect Kiva. You are allowed to go into this. I came down that little ladder. This is basically like a circular ceremonial room. Very cool. Here's a view from Jailhouse Ruins. All these ruins all have absolutely gorgeous views. All right, made it back here to uh, the Bullet Canyon Trailhead. Wasn't too bad of a day today. Man, it was a really spectacular trip. Uh, a lot of neat stuff down there. Um, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll catch you all later.